switched it to easy. Um, HD fauna. What? <laughs> I was legit scrolling on Twitter. I was like, wait a minute. Is it 1230? Um, I'll just refresh. Fauna is at 20 pixels on my phone. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? I look good in 20 pixels. Thank you. <laughs> Pam says I'm not into games like that, but I'll watch them. I bet you the YouTube replay of it would be so long. I bet you would be like... I would say at least... Probably at least six hours. <laughs> It's a really long, like, there is just so much talking. Um, so there's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Cotton! Hello, Cotton. You're not late. We're not, I haven't even opened up the art page yet. What the heck are you talking about? You're not late. <laughs> Cotton is the new Tosh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hang on. Never mind. I was like, I didn't give Tosh one of my little VIP badges, but you can't VIP a mod. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys the art now. Um, my cat's here. Hi. Uh, so this is what we're going to be painting. It's like, um, this is all on one layer. So already off to a great start. <laughs> But it's gonna be like a little town or something, and it's got like a canal. I thought it'd be cute. You guys can can you hear her? <laughs> Hi. You gonna be nice today? She's like, absolutely not, mom. The perfect amount of layer. <laughs> See this cattail? <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. Are you gonna say hi to everybody? No, she's laying down. All right. Well, I was going to try to show it to you, but all I get is this tail. So. <laughs> Tosh says, yes, I have power. It's part of a very old country song. Oh, is that what it's from? I thought it was a movie quote, Soul Thief. Oh, I, I listen to country, but not that often. Um, more like Taylor Swift, Carrie Underwood country. <laughs> but if there's a pop version and a country version of a song... I will listen to the country version because usually the pop version of the country song is just like a, a worse version of it. You guys should let me know if you have other opinions, but like that song cruise or whatever, he's like windows down and cruise like that song. I thought it sounded way better in country than like country pop. It's just like they make it so weird. Like it's just not good as a pop song. I feel like, um, <laughs> I'm the new Taj. <laughs> Thanks for taking my spot. Tosh, you guys are not late. If I haven't even shared the art yet, we are not late. <laughs> but yeah, step one is getting all these on separate layers. So if somebody wants to do that for me, I'll just wait and then come back. Um, if that's if that's on the table. Is that on the table? No? Okay. Well, I tried. Um... So there's like a lot of ways to do this, depending on how lazy you want to be. I'm gonna... Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this sky. And we're gonna do a sky first. And then I'm going to make a ground. I feel like I just want the ground. That boat? Just R.I.P. that boat. Oh, I wasn't on the right layer. LOL. Okay, you know what? Fine, we'll take the boat. I don't know why I'm fighting with you guys. It's not like you're disagreeing with me. <laughs> Aw, Streamlabs really is back. I literally, I'm not even kidding you guys. It just like turned off. Like, the bot just was like, yeah, I'm gonna be off now. And I was like, but do you need to be off? And it was like, no, but... But that's the vibes. And I was like, but is it the vibes? And it was like, yes. Yes, it is. It was very weird. Okay, I'm gonna cut all the tree on one layer. And then if I need to put these behind the building, then we can do that. Um, this is how I live my life, guys. This is the chaos that you've signed up for, so. Um, 
Tosh says, I'm a mod. I like to consider myself late when the Discord notif goes off. <laughs> the Discord notif truly is its own form of chaos. Uh, Streamlabs still works so far so good. I don't know how I broke everything yesterday. Uh, Sultu says, I got a dip for a bit trying to find my card. It will be back. Good luck finding your card. That's, I hate when I miss stuff. Uh, Pammy said, I'm gonna finish painting my Waddle D figuring today, I think. What? That's so cool. I love that you do those. I think it's so cool. Um... I am not patient enough for stuff like that. As you guys probably can tell. Okay, I'm gonna put a cloud in these places that I put clouds and we're gonna go with that. Um, I'm gonna put the birdies back. That is not what a bird looks like. Okay, hang on. Take two on these birds. Um... <laughs> this is what pro artists do. Um, so this is the most pro pro work I've ever done. Just FYI. Um, I also have the F1 race on. I've never watched it before, but I'm trying to give it a chance for a friend. Is that like a NASCAR race? Are you watching NASCAR? <laughs> um, Tasha says, I'll be doing research later. Oh, Tasha, you're so like, responsible, professional, you know, really always doing the most. Fat birds. <laughs> they were so fat, they were not even birds. Like I would not call those birds. That was like another tree. Um, okay, you know what? That's good enough for now. I just need to, like, break everything up. So then I'm just gonna basically cut out everything that's not a building. And I'm gonna hide it. <laughs> and then I'll leave the buildings on their own lair. And just kind of, like... try to separate that out you know this is this isn't chaotic or anything this makes lots of sense i'm gonna see if my laundry is dry oh i was supposed to do laundry today <laughs> i hate laundry laundry is like one of my least favorite chores although i still consider dishes to be my true least favorite chore oh wait um, sorry, somebody texted me. I was like, what? Um, they're not fat. They're chonky. I don't even think they were birds, though. <laughs> it's different from NASCAR. Tosh, you are responsible. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you know what, Pam Pan? You know what? I'm gonna look up F1 race. Is the thing? Is that the way you Google stuff? Race details. Watch on ESPN. Okay, so there's countries. Did the music just get, like, really loud? Hey, can you just, like, chill music? Thanks. Um, I hate racing. I'm not going to pretend to have opinions on these. Uh, I have no idea what's going on, truly. They build their own cars per team and each team has a different budget and some have millions. So how is that fair? <laughs> um, one time I was in a car with somebody and they just like started going 95 in a 40. And now I just like hate cars going fast because I think everyone's going to die. <laughs> Um, cause says you watch F1. Pam Pam said she, said she was watching it. Um, it's about the workmanship. I see. I mean, that part I think is cool. Cause I don't know anything about cars. So I like respect people who do that kind of stuff. Cause I'm like, wow. Look at how put together they are. 
Okay, so the clouds, they need love. That's what I'm getting from this. Also, I made this color palette. So if anybody wants it, I'm always obsessed and looking for new color palettes. So like you can screenshot it if you want and you can have it because um, I made this one. Usually I don't say that because I am taking ones that uh, someone else has given me, but I actually made this one. So if you like it, you can just use it. Oh, okay, let me erase this. This is supposed to just be like a really tall building. Um, okay, wait. Tasha, do you even consider the fact I should be sending the survey to different people now, but I'm still not done? <laughs> and racing okay fair i've seen stuff like that and i say vroom vroom car go fast that's how i feel vroom vroom anyway said i like driving fast but the speed limit is under 45 i'm not gonna speed over 10 miles an hour i also drive differently with people in my car they started racing so like i was in this car with my best friend's boyfriend shout out to you guys if you were watching this i didn't think that was cool um and they were like literally in they were just driving through the streets of the town the speed limit i swear to you guys was like 35 and we started racing cars so he starts driving and he is like bolting it and we're like going in between it was so scary and we were, <laughs> we were going like like literally like 85 at least i think minimum 75 i know we were going over 65 and it was like a 35 mile an hour road. It was so scary. I hated it. <laughs> um, I like texted some one of my other friends and I was like, that was weird. And they were like, they should literally never have done that to you. Like that, you didn't give them consent for that. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. So I just sat there and was like, ha ha. <laughs> um, Cotton says, all I know is my brother was mad that Hamilton was robbed. Why did I think that was about, like, actual Hamilton? Like, the play Hamilton? <laughs> I was like, oh, I know about that. I know about the the musical about that. <laughs> um, but I also don't drive the speed limit. Like, I'm gonna go 10 over. <laughs> most most of the time um Henry says i'm safe and i use signals and let other people over i promise no they were racing like they made eye contact and they were like revving they were like literally racing in the streets of this small vermont town <laughs> it's freaking wild i don't know they have like a code they're like oh he wants to race i was like what does that mean <laughs> it was so weird they have like a whole code though I'm not invested into F1. I just want to learn about it. Well, that's cool. I commend you for learning. Uh, Pamela says, one time someone Reb to race me. I forgot my friends in the car and I just started accelerating. <laughs> yes, they have like a language. It's so weird. I was like, what's going on? And he was like, they want to race. I was like, but how did you know that just now? And there's like a whole thing. They just like, no. Um... But like, there was just no warning. Like we were just driving to my apartment and all of a sudden we were going so fast. So I was like, well, if this is the end, you know what? I lived a good life. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I didn't even really say anything. So it's kind of my fault. Like I wasn't like, hey guys, I hate this. I was just like, well, this is fun. And then later I was like, oh, maybe that was weird. <laughs> um, but yes, they do really have like their own language. It's kind of, it's, it's very interesting, but also, scary <laughs> Pam is like I felt so bad oh you were probably fine I was just like not at all prepared for it and then we hit a pothole and we hit it like so hard because we were going way too fast and he was like I bet I'm gonna ruin my my tires and I was like what are you talking about <laughs> um yeah it's totally fair I didn't know that like there was a thing though like I thought it was crazy I was like wait these people are just around like always down to race and he he like knew all the cars so he was like that guy in that car totally is gonna want to race because he's got that car like I'm like how do you know these things <laughs> okay wait is this the sky still oh that's what I was using for clouds um after it they were like oh 
that was probably not good. I was like, well, it's too late now, guys. It's too late. <laughs> okay, we have sky. So now I need to put the clouds back. Ah! Um... I, don't, I hate clouds. I know that I, like, talk to you guys about these. And they're not, like, that bad. But they just, like, truly never want to vibe with me. Sorry, I made the music really quiet and I just freaked out and was like, where did it go? Sometimes there are clear skies. <laughs> you are right. Sometimes there aren't clouds, actually. Sometimes clouds just don't exist, but I do always do clouds. It's because, I think it's because I used to not draw clouds. And so then I was like, yo, girl, you can't just not draw clouds. Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me turn off the camera. I'm gonna go get some of my paintings and I'll show you guys. Hang on. Because I literally just didn't draw clouds. This one. I've got this one. This one. Okay, I have three that are just sitting around my apartment. Um, sometimes it's raining. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, I turned it off. Hi again, me back, me is back. So I started out acrylic before I did digital. Now the music is too loud for me. Um, <laughs> and I never used to do clouds. So I think this one is one of the older ones. And so you can see ocean, not really any clouds. Like this little lighter stripe is like, wild like i was like whoa i did a thing hi bailey yeah hi bailey just chilling um i think this one is older so you can see it was a sunset it's why it's pink but again there are no clouds i mean the view is kind of like cloud absent but still and then in this one which is a little smaller i still like i did like a little bit of a lightness but there's not really clouds. So like, I just, <laughs> and that's just like three. Like I have more. These two up here, they do have clouds, so they're not good examples. But I just like was so bad. At, I like, didn't want to paint them, so I just wouldn't. So I have like, so <laughs> all of my first paintings don't have clouds because I was like, screw you clouds. Um, so then I like, I think I just started forcing myself to paint them because I was like, yo, they're just little puff balls. Like, don't be so afraid. And so then I was like, okay, I won't be afraid. And now I think I just draw them all the time. Without okay, let me put these back. Fun fact, my landlord made me re-sign a new lease and they literally told me that in the lease that you can't have, you're not allowed to put nails in the wall, which is fine, but you're not allowed to mount things to the wall, which again, also fine, but you're not allowed to, <laughs> to use adhesive based hangers, which means like, um, what are those called? What's like the brand name? You know, those like things where you like stick it to the wall and then you peel it like the, <sighs> you know what I'm talking about if you do. Um, but <laughs> like technically those are now against the lease. And I'm just like, why is everything against my lease? So anyways, um, I'm breaking my lease already. So if my landlord's watching this, it's too late. They're already up. <laughs> okay, hang on. 
don't know. I mean, okay, so Cotton's like, do you hate clouds? I don't, I guess, hate them. They just never... I don't know. Sometimes, like, if I draw an ocean, I just, like, know how to draw an ocean. Like, I, you could just give me a paint thing and I'll just, like, draw an ocean. But with clouds, I never just, like, draw clouds. I'm always like, what if I drew them this way? And then I, like, do that 80 million times. I kind of feel like this one should have clouds, though. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Also so mad because yesterday we literally were trying to get to the 40 balloons and I, I tried like twice after I ate lunch and I got it immediately. I got 41 balloons till I hit all those stupid balloons in Arceus. And then I looked up a guide on where to find, I think it's Cheruby. And, um, and then I immediately caught a Cheruby. So we're really close to finishing the decks. It's just that the ones that are left in Pokemon are just like really hard. Um, because they're like really rare spawns now. Like every one I don't have is just like really hard to find. Okay, that's a funny shape. Okay, what if we put like a little cloud? Here. And then a little cloud. Why am I having such a problem with this little cloud? <laughs> Um, Cotton's like, but you did it though. I know, I did do it. I screen capped the last 30 seconds so you could watch me be a baddie. Um, but yeah, so the next ones are gonna be really hard. So just like know that that's coming. Also, I know I said that we play Animal Crossing, but it will kind of just be like whatever I feel like playing. Seen they're just too small. Anyways, I hope you guys are all having a nice day. Um, I went on a walk today and I got some biscuits at this place near me that literally has like like an award or something for like having the best biscuits in the whole state. Um so they're really tasty biscuits. Um and I picked up two. So that was exciting. I hope you guys did something nice for yourselves today because I got a biscuit. Um, I haven't had any popcorn today though, so I guess that's kind of weird. Were they the best biscuits in the whole state? Oh yeah, they're amazing. Um, if any of you guys were ever around, I basically take all my friends to this place because they really do have amazing biscuits. Um, it's almost like they're not even a biscuit. Like they're, they are a biscuit, but they're just like so, they're called, they're maple biscuits. So the top of the biscuit has like this like candied maple like layer almost to it. And it tastes like eating like the best. I don't even know how to describe it. They're so good. I don't even eat biscuits, but like every time I go there, that's like what you get. And like, there's tons of times where I've gone and they like were sold out of the biscuits because they're so good. Um, so yeah, anyways, I, I pretty much just like spend my whole life revolving it around food. <laughs> if you couldn't already tell, Okay, what if I took these and I put them... Distort. Maybe we should look at my paintings. I guess I've done a lot of clouds lately. I mean, this one didn't really have clouds. You can't even tell which one I'm pointing at. <laughs> 
I don't know. Something about them feels very satisfying about nailing them. I think I just takes me a while to get to that point. Jax, hello, how are you? I hope you're having a nice Sunday. I keep wanting to say Saturday. Um, I don't really know why I keep thinking it's Saturday. Apparently that's just the vibes. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Um, okay, what if I... I don't know. I should probably like have cloud references up. I tend to do this and I only have like references of buildings up. So let's just do that. Pika, pika. Oh, look, it works. I did fix it. Hearable. I heard it that time. <laughs> um, Jack says, how are you? I'm doing really good. Um, just kind of chilling. We're working on this new painting. Um, I'm excited. Just kind of vibing. It's pretty cold out today, so I did go for a walk, but it was so windy that my, like, ears hurt. <laughs> also, these trees should definitely be behind the building. Okay, I'm gonna move them so that they are. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Also, I don't know if you guys would be interested in this because I know not all of you are like into artsy stuff, but I figured I would break up my stream for my one year. So the one year anniversary of my stream, of my streaming career, um, will be April 10th. So we kind of have like a little bit to go, but the 10th is a Sunday. So I, I started on a Saturday, but obviously because time it goes to a Sunday. Um, but there's a one hour challenge that we could start off with if, if people would be interested. I mean, if they're not, I can just do it and you guys can just watch me suffer. Um, but basically what it is, is that you have one hour and then you break it up into time slots um if any of you follow like or are like subbed to angry miko on youtube he just did this challenge with everybody and i actually kind of really liked it um it's the one that i showed you where, where i paint like five paintings and then like each one gets faster so the first painting that you make I think you have 20 minutes and then the next one you have like 12 and then the next one you have like 10 yes yeah, so like 20 12 like 8 to 10 ish and then you've got like five and then you've got like three i think i, I don't think that adds up to an hour so it might be a little longer it might be like 20 15 10 but like you for the last painting you have like five minutes to do like a full painting uh cotton says they're the one with the patreon they're the one with the gum road um i don't think he has patreon but it's because he's in a country that i think is just like a jerk with taxes <laughs> on patreon um but it's like those other paintings that i did so it's like these ones where like i made this one and it took like whatever amount of time and then i had like a little bit more time a little bit less time and then I had a little bit less time and then you just keep going and like that's why this one is like so bad because i did it in like a little three minutes <laughs> like you have to come up with the idea and then paint it in three minutes so like it, it gets like really rough at the end um but it's fun and i think that we might enjoy doing it so i was thinking we could start off with that because i would still kind of want to do some art and then we could go and probably play some community games. So I'm gonna do polls on them, but I figure we could try and touch Mario Kart 
and if people have Mario Party, I know that Junjun had Mario Party, but um, I think she was like the only one <laughs> besides like her and me. And uh, so we might not play that. Uh, Tosh was talking about doing Gartic Phone, and I know that Pan Pan's played Gartic Phone, so we could probably also do that. And I do want to play Jackbox, so for sure we'll do some Jackbox. Um, it'll be kind of intense. We probably won't do all of those because that's a lot of stuff to do in one day, but. <laughs> Um, I'm me back with snack. What are you eating, Pan and Pan? I'm curious. Um, um Tosh says, I'll join, but with editing. <laughs> Aww. Um, Jack says, I know that ZHC did something similar where he drew for 10 hours, 10 minutes, and 10 seconds. Oh my god! That's crazy. I definitely... I'm not drawing for 10 hours <laughs> on stream, <laughs> but I like the idea. Like if it wasn't a stream to just like do a painting for 10 hours and then show 10 minutes. I feel like there needs to be an in-between between like 10 hours and 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe like a hundred minutes <laughs> and a hundred seconds. <laughs> um. I made a tortilla. I almost literally said tortilla. <laughs> yeah, I made a tortilla with cheese. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm definitely broken. Um, okay, I want there to be like a house behind me. So I'm gonna put something here-ish too. Um, and then I need to bring these trees down. Sorry that I like started this painting with like one layer. <laughs> it means I have to do a lot of work to just like get us somewhere, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna put the boat on this layer. It should be in front of the grass actually, so JK. I haven't even put any people in the boat yet, so that is also a thing that is gonna have to happen. <laughs> you know, at some point. Um... Get rid of this, okay. Um, Cotton says can definitely play guard tick. Yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, Jackbox, anybody can play Jackbox. Um, so all you need is like a phone or like any device that can connect to the internet and go to a web browser. So no one has to pay for Jackbox either. Um, the games that I think we'd probably play would be Quiplash and um, Blather Round, because I love Blather Round. Um, but <laughs> it's a little confusing the first time around. Um, Pam Pan says, Hurricane Katrina, more like Hurricane Tortilla. You should be a comedian, Pam Pam. I think that you'd be really good at it. Um, recently on TikTok, there has been somebody who, who's been, who's a comedian who's been making a lot of jokes. And she is really, really funny. She did one about coming out as bisexual <laughs> to her mom. So she's like, so yeah, going coming out as bisexual to my mom didn't go very well. Um, so I come to her and I'm like, <sighs> you know, mom, I think I'm bisexual. And she's like, but how do you know? And she's like, well, I find women very attractive. And my mom is like, yeah, women are very beautiful. <laughs> so then I learned that my mom was bi. Uh, and my mom didn't learn that anybody was bi. And it was like the way that she delivers that joke is so funny, but I just thought it was so good. <laughs> And I've seen like a bunch of her skits because um, she's been uploading them, I guess. And it's so funny. Um, <laughs> I was like laughing so hard. <laughs> um, Tosh is done with the dishes. I can finally start research. Tosh, you I swear you have like the most dishes out of anybody I've ever met. I don't even have like a dishwasher. I mean, I do have one, but I never use it. And I don't even do dishes that much. <laughs> I just, I have such little space in my apartment that my dishwasher is like storage space. So I just like have a bunch of stuff in there. 
that's not even dishes. Um, apparently that's not normal. <laughs> But I feel like it should be more normal. I'm gonna make this a lighter color for the ground. Maybe I should just like paint in multiple layers to begin with. Did anybody ever think of that idea? <laughs> Is that a revolutionary idea that I just came up with? Thank you. Um, to be fair, it's easy to drawings on a switch, so it's different. Oh my god! I, oh my god, I saw actually there's an app that you can do that with. Um, but it looks so difficult. And I'm impatient. <laughs> um, that makes a lot more sense though to show like how far you can get on like 10 hours on a switch. Um, I'll just base my comedy off my old vines. <laughs> Vine! I miss Vine. I know that TikTok is, like, replacing Vine, obviously, because Vine died a long time ago. But there was just something very special about the stuff that people put on Vine. And that was before I could even, like, load video content well. Like, I just had really bad internet, so I would... <laughs> I would like open a vine and then like walk away for five minutes and then I'd like look at a six second vine and then I would do the same thing like over and over again. Um, hi Warhammer, <laughs> how are you? I hope you're having a nice day. Layers, what are those? That's a great question, Cotton. Um, I don't have an answer. <laughs> But if someone out there does, you know, please enlighten me. Whoops. Okay, come on. Why did Vine not survive? I don't remember. I imagine I think it was financial. Um, I feel like something was going on, but I don't know. Why did Vine shut down? Vine shut down because it failed to support its content creators. Due to high levels of competition, lack of monetization and advertising options, personnel turnover, as well as issues at parent company Twitter, <laughs> I didn't know Vine was part of Twitter. Maybe I did at some point, but I forgot. Um, okay, so it sounds like there were a lot of things wrong with Vine. The short answer is because it was an unprofitable business. And Instagram made money. It makes me shook that Instagram was making that much money back then. Um, I guess that it... I didn't know that it wasn't... I mean, I don't know. At that time, I didn't know anybody was paying creators, um, to be fair. I didn't really know that was a thing. Cotton's, like, learned something today. Uh, Tasha's TikTok learned from Vine, so now it has so many ads. I feel like TikTok, um, really has, like, short-circuited the whole, like ad thing because you see a lot of ads but you like can just skip by them like if you guys have ever played one of those like annoying iphone games you can't just like skip by an ad you have to just like sit there wait for it to load wait for it to change screen and then you have to stare at that like it is a whole process to watching an ad on on like most platforms and then on tiktok you can just skip them so i kind of feel like i don't know how that works for them like do advertisers still pay you enough even though you can just skip them i mean like i don't know it just makes me question why you have to stare at ads so often for everything else 
gosh. Thank you so much for the 10 bits. Oh, thank you. Pan Pan. Pan Pan. Thank you so much for the 50 bits. Cotton's like, I heard Zelda. I know, I heard it and I was like, Zelda? Zelda? Pan Pan immediately one upping me. <laughs> Pan Pan was like, I see you and I raise you. Um, oh wait, that's orange. I don't want orange. I was gonna put like flowers on this bush. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 51 bits. <laughs> you guys are really funny. Um, no, that's not it. <laughs> um, okay, but hear me out, says Tosh. DFF. Yeah, DFF. Does that stand for, um... No debt for Fauna? Because I think that that's what it should stand for. Also, I didn't know I had so much grass behind there. Jeez. <sighs> should I give this thing a background color? Sometimes it helps make it look more full. Look, it makes a very minor difference, but I kind of like it. Um, DFF. Down for friends. Delightful. Fredrickson. <laughs> that made sense. I think so, yeah. Five points for Fauna. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Thank you guys again for cheering all those bits. You did not have to do that. Um, wait, hang on, what am I doing? Wait, Pam Pam, are you playing Kirby off stream too? Are you, cause it looked so good. I wanna get Kirby so bad. So I'm trying to like get through a bunch of my other games so that I can like allow myself to buy Kirby because at this point I have so many open games that I'm just like not allowed to buy anymore. <laughs> But I want to get Kirby. It looks so good. Um, Pan Pan was streaming Kirby the other day. And it literally looked so fun. And I love Kirby now, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really that big of a Kirby fan, honestly. I think I played some of the, like, 3DS ones. And I kind of sucked. So I think that I was like, I'm not going to play Kirby. <laughs> Because I did really bad, which is kind of embarrassing because I feel like you think of Kirby as like a very like kid game. So you don't like assume that you'll be bad at it. But I was very bad at it, okay? Um, they expect you to know what you're doing. <laughs> I remember too, like I would play Mario back when just like the OG DS was out and you could only like save your game when you made it to like a half world or a full like the end of the world and like that was just bonkers the fact that you would have to redo levels all the time if you didn't save your game and that like you you couldn't just like if you left it in limbo it was so much sketchier than it is now <laughs> that was horrible why did we ever allow that in life um is this on the wrong layer yeah it totally was. I kind of liked the other clouds that I have. I think I'm going to make another cloud layer. Welcome to Cloud Mania, where all I do is draw clouds. That one is like a really big cloud. That could be cool.
Boom. Boom. <sighs> okay, maybe that's too much. Um, Cotton reading things to be happy about. Oh, Cotton, do you have a page number in mind or do you want me to just pick? Um, maybe I just do. <laughs> I think I'll only play offline to get missing stuff from stages, but I'll try to stream the main stuff. That's cool. I wonder where the other Waddle Dudes were. Because, like, truly it did feel like you went everywhere. Is it on the layer? <laughs> Your guys' clips are so good. I watched through some of all of them the other week, and I was just like, wow, these are actually very entertaining. <laughs> um, okay, page 49. Being on the beach at dusk. Setting up your first aquarium. Aww. Putting perfume on your bike, in your hair, on your neck. People used to put perfume on their bike? Um, watching TV with a bowl of ice cream and a fan. Watermelon. I love watermelon. Yo girl, down for watermelon. A trip to the old neighborhood. Alternating between reading a novel and looking at the hilltop skyline. Um, stuffed calico yo-yos. What's a stuffed yo-yo? Courtrooms. Mm, I don't know if I'm if that's one of my reasons to be happy. <laughs> Not being known as grouchy or mean, just quiet. Six course gastronomic dinners. Wow. Trying to play the harmonica. Okay, true. Um when anyone can look at the two of you and tell that you are head over heels in love. Oh, that one is cute. Um and then Dutch butter cookies, never had those, but they sound great. I'm down for a cookie. And reversible placemats. <laughs> oh, that one is cute too. God, <laughs> I was confused with Cotton's 49 and then I saw the redeem. I thought we were counting even here. <laughs> yeah, okay guys, you know what? Cotton wrote 49, so it's time. There we go. <laughs> Pampan says, my paint is not painting on my Waddle D. I am confused. It is immediately separating into droplets I can wipe off, but I got it. Oh my god, Pampan. That sounds really annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I shouldn't have done that, but now I, I just like, that game makes me think that I can't count. Because after we get up into the 100s, my brain wants to count by fives. I have no idea why it just like literally does that like every time if somebody writes like 140 my brain's like okay Vana type 155 and I'm like wait a minute what 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 <laughs> I'm I'm truly surprised that I haven't messed that up yet okay I think we should put a big cloud here and then maybe just like a really really big cloud here I just feel like this is like, like a magic little town that has like really beautiful big clouds. I just don't know how to make them like taller. Maybe something like that. You know, I just think something cute like that. Like a little stylized, nothing too realistic. Um, so 155 comes after 140. Tosh says, I thought it was gonna be Streamlabs breaking the count. <laughs> it freaks me out too, because I have the Pokebot going on. So it really freaks me out when Pokebot is like, your bay leaf is a new level. I'm like, can you just stop talking, please? Like, don't talk. It freaks me. I'm like, no one should talk in the counting level, but the but the counting. <laughs> uh, Tosh says we should try this. I think maybe we shouldn't try it because I would really like it if we could get to 1,000. I thought we would get to 1,000 in like a week, easy. Um, 
Apparently you can like vote and then you'll get like a save and then if you're the one who messes up the count, it will like not take it. And it will like give you a lifeline, but I don't know. That's like a lot. It kind of feels like cheating now that we've been doing it without any lifelines for so long. <laughs> You know, like, I respect that about us. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, in my Discord, we have a counting bot. And all you do is count. <laughs> you would think it's not fun, but I'm having a great time. So, that's enough for me, personally. Okay, I need to like get the basics of this like establishment going, otherwise we're just gonna be here forever. Actually, I think it'd be cool if that house is higher up than this other house. You know, maybe it has stairs or something. Sorry, I'm getting like carried away. <laughs> Who needs lifelines, not us? No, we definitely do. Let's just get to 150. <laughs> oh, 1,000. I have no idea why I took 150. I'm like, Cotton, we've, we've gotten to 150. Are you on, Are you so worried that we're not gonna ever make it to 150 again? <laughs> oh. Yes, I would love to get to 1,000. If we can get to 1,000, I'll do something for us. I don't know what the reward will be, but I'll do something. I'm thinking we could just like... I don't know. Maybe like free sub for like three months or something for whoever gets to 1,000. I don't really know how I'd do it because we're all participating, but I don't think I could like afford to give it to everybody. But I want to give us something, so we'll figure out what it is. But I will do something exciting for us when we hit a thousand, because that is a huge deal. At this point, considering how long we've been trying for it. Okay, I need like a, a darker yellow. There we go. What if this one had like circle windows? Kind of makes it look like an egg carton. Not an egg carton, a milk carton. Valentine cam. Okay, you know what? I don't know how I would do that, but that could be on the table for, not permanently, but maybe for like a, a stream or a day or something. You heard that? She will do something. <laughs> me? Doing something? Couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Just kidding, it could be me. Wow, that line is totally straight, guys. Don't question it. <laughs> also, yesterday, after realizing that I had been misgendering Melly this whole game, I'm realizing that I just should have read the dialogue more <laughs> because I was just like skipping through that dialogue and I feel like that is the real reason why I didn't have anybody's gender correctly because um, Melly refers to himself as a he like when you're dealing with the mainline game like with the Voltorb and I just like ignored it because Melly was being so annoying that I just like stopped reading what Melly was saying because that character is so obnoxious. Um, I don't know if you guys even noticed, but like that character is annoying AF. 
I was all excited to meet the character because I was like, oh, I love your hair. And then that character was really mean. So that was all my fun. Just gone. Also, I think that's a bit aggressive for this um, roof. Cotton's like, Pokemon, please add a pronoun extension. Yeah, I mean, like, it'd be nice. I feel bad about mis mislabeling these characters, you know? Like, don't do that to me. Or just, like, have people refer with pronouns more often. Or have voice acting, because I'd love voice acting. Because that way I wouldn't have skipped through it all as much. I pretty much misread any time anyone was talking. It was like I lost my ability to speak. Gosh, this voice acting would need like 40 to 50% more budget. But they're Pokemon! How can Triangle Strategy afford it and Pokemon cannot? Like, I understand. I totally agree that it's expensive. But, like, you don't even have to do all the quests and stuff. Just do the main storyline. You would have Silene. I mean, okay, it's like I hate voices. I actually do normally skip voices. But I think I want it for Pokemon now. It was like really hard for me this round. I think that it's time. I actually, I'm, I do normally skip it, but I've kind of stopped skipping it. Triangle strategy, a lot of people complain about how bad it is, but I actually think it's all right. It's kind of fun to just sit back and like watch versus like, like I can't read. I literally can't read. <laughs> That's the real issue is that Fauna cannot read. Also, I need to add this water. My cat's back. Hi. Would you like to say that into the microphone? Would you like to say that to the world? Do you have something else to say? Hi. What was that? <laughs> I tried to get the cat noises in there. I hope you heard some of them. Um, I'll only say hi once. Valentine says hi. <laughs> she said morale. Hi. Oh, there we go. That's my stomach. I mean, okay, I... I'm trying to think, I usually skip it. Like Dragon Age had it and I hated it and I never listened to it. But I feel like the option is nice. And a lot of people, like I have, I have someone who's dyslexic. I have a friend who's just, I have someone. I have a friend who has dyslexia and he actually really only plays games that have voice acting because, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> because he just like all the reading in games is unenjoyable it like ruins the game experience for him because he has to put so much work into like reading so i feel like it's kind of an accessibility thing too like pokemon is big enough that they could afford it and then you could just not you know you could just skip it um if it sucked <laughs> Ow. but for streaming i i think i'd like it because i can't speak your girl cannot talk or read. Maybe it's more like a Fauna needs to be able to read thing, less a, a game freak thing. <laughs> I don't know. I only hate it when it makes the game take a lot longer, but I just skip it. So it doesn't really bother me if I'm just ignoring it anymore. Like it only, the worst thing is that it makes me feel bad that they put all that time into it and I'm just skipping it. <laughs> okay, I have like a cat now. She just be, she's sitting right here. This is her head. 
And this is the pencil. I'm putting it on her head. <laughs> oh, it, it came out of the case. Hi. She's like, Mom, do you hate me? You know, you do this every art stream. And I just, like, want to say that that's rude. <laughs> um, Cotton's like, it gives them a new dimension sometimes. It really does, and I feel like it makes me more immersed. Like, I don't really- I could not tell you a lot about the Pokemon story because I didn't care, but if it had voice acting, I would have paid more attention, personally. And like, I feel like they wanted me to pay attention. <laughs> that's my other issues. I feel like that's what they wanted from me. Um... Cotton? Okay, Tasha's my mind doesn't want to work again, so don't work. YOLO. Um, Cotton says, I love the Spider-Man uh, VA so much that when I read the comics now, I read it in his voice. Really? Oh my god. I love that for you. Sleep instead. <laughs> Tasha's like, I cannot. My mind is going places, plus Fauna is live. Listen, Fauna uploads all her streams to YouTube, so... You do not have to be beholden to this. Isn't that a fancy word? Beholden? Okay, this leafage should just be like more of a leaf and less of a like weird stray mark but i think having some of it be on the roof is kind of cool i prefer it live i know i'm the same way i don't like it's not as fun watching a streamer like youtube video at least for me because i feel like the fun is in being able to interact with them and then like I'll watch one and I'll be like, oh man, I wish I could say something to them. And then you just like, you can't. And then like all your buddies are in chat and you like watch them talk. I don't, it's a whole thing for me. Um, I get to add to the chaos when I am live. I mean, I mean, I mean mod stuff. No, not, not chaos. Um, I'm a good person. <laughs> oh my God, Tosh, you're hilarious. I think that adding to the chaos is a definition of modding for me. <laughs> why is this here? What is this? Oh my god. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is why other people should use layers. Me? Me? I'm not gonna. But you guys should. <laughs> you guys should follow that advice. I won't, but somebody should. Okay, um, I'm gonna break up right here. Look at it, it's kind of coming along. Um, okay, I'm gonna fix the plant over here now. Because it's looking a little... Roof. You read that perfectly. Aw, thanks. Hair flip. <laughs> Sometimes, some people watch VODs like it's medicine. I personally cannot because I want to interact. Yes, same. I don't know why. I just like, I'm like crazy about it. And then like, when I first got into it, um, like not, not like streaming, but when I first started watching people, I used to really like that you could just like pause it and then kind of like go back when you needed it. But I actually like on Twitch that it just keeps you live. Because it's like, I just want to keep up with what's happening in the now so I can interact. I don't want to, like... Like, I don't want to go and watch the older stuff and then be behind and chat. Like, that's not why we're here. So I think I, I, I think the same. I just think it's, it's funny to me how I changed on it. Because I was like, oh, who cares? And now I'm like, now I, like, don't even want to watch older ones. I used to watch VODs of my, like, favorite streamers. But even then, I would just give up. <laughs> I would just like skip to the parts that I really wanted to watch, or if for some reason I did want to watch them, I would like like work and then like have them on in the background or something. Um, I 
watch VODs to sleep too. Yes, I actually will fall asleep to streamers live if they stream at my bedtime, which is awkward because then they start talking to me in chat and I'm like fully asleep. <laughs> Uh, Taj is like, that way it gives some ad revenue to the creator and I get to sleep. <laughs> Tosh is really the MVP, I swear. Um, I only prefer it not live when it's already edited because then it's like highlights. Yeah, I'll end up skipping a lot. And then like I had one streamer who eventually would like, I really liked his stuff, but then for like 20 minutes, he would just like, before switching over to Jackbox, would like do um, his Halo highlights. And I just like don't understand anything about Halo. So I just like would just skip up and go to bed. <laughs> but he had like a thousand viewers at one point. So he, he was fine. He didn't need me. Need me and my little, my little sub. Ah, this is a really hard angle to draw. Um, my phone cannot handle it, so still. <laughs> that sucks. That's what I do on my phone. And then it's so hot when I wake up and I'm like, I should not have done that. <laughs> Cotton's like, Twitch is fun because it's live for me. I personally don't care for much for what my friends are playing. I'm just there to hang out. Yeah, I totally feel that way. Like, I feel like what gets you into it is always, like, a specific thing. At least it was for me. Like, when I started, I actually found this guy's YouTube videos. And then I was like, that's funny. And then he would, like... Then Animal Crossing came out and he would stream Animal Crossing. And I was like, oh... Like, I'm down. I love Animal Crossing. I want other people who are playing it. So then I, like, became a whole part of, like, the community because of Animal Crossing. And then, like, obviously, you know, he was a variety streamer. So he ended up playing, like, other things. And you just end up kind of, like, hanging out. Because you're like, oh, well, I really like everybody now. So I'm just going to hang out. And then you just, like, hang out all the time. <laughs> and then it doesn't matter what they're doing. You're just kind of there to just... For the vibes, you know, like I just feel like that's how it worked for me is I was like there for a reason and then I just didn't care. I just wanted to like hang out with everybody. But at first I used to be like, oh, they're not streaming Animal Crossing, so I don't really care. But like eventually I like fell into that cadence basically. Yeah, Pam Pan's like me too. Uh, when I was in, when I was almost dying of sickness. Oh Tosh, that was so rough. You were sick for so long. I slept to Fauna streaming and I woke up with nuclear phone at 5% battery. Oh my god. You don't have it plugged in? <laughs> I still can't believe you guys like listen when it's so late for you. Like I truly am sleeping. <laughs> I'm gonna make this perspective on this guy like a little different. His roof is like really low, but I want this building to be like at an angle. Which is a lot of work for me because I drew on the wrong layer for a lot of time, so me <laughs> while I suffer a bit. Am I in the wrong layer? No, I'm not. I'm not. I feel like they should have like a little sign coming out right here. Or maybe it should be on the other end. signs look like if anybody knows what a sign looks like hit me up 
Oh my god, caught in my name champagne problems. Okay, I hope you guys are ready for this. Let me catch up on chat and I'll do it. Um, I didn't. I was too far from the outlet. Plus, I couldn't look. Oh my god, Tosh. <laughs> this is a sign. It is a sign. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the, the music because I just think you guys need the full ambiance of this. Okay, give me a second. I practiced it yesterday, so hopefully I'm not terrible. Okay. You might have touched on the Chevy door, November flush, and your flannel cure. This dorm was once a madhouse. I made a joke, well, it's made for me. How? Evergreen, our group of friends don't think we'll say that word again, and soon they'll have the nerve to deck the halls that we once walked through. One for the money, two for the show. I never was ready, so I'll watch you go. Sometimes you just don't know the answer to someone's on their knees and asks you. She would have made such a lovely bride. What a shame she's fucked in the head, they said. But you'll find the real thing instead. She'll patch up your tapestry that I shred. Okay. Thanks, Kyle, for the redeem. <laughs> I almost made it a sound, but I was like, I feel like it's too long. Like the fastest I did it was still about 20 seconds. So it's a really long time for that to be going. <laughs> if I'm if I'm like talking under it. <laughs> Like, I definitely need to stop talking, but I probably wouldn't because I'm very chaotic. Wait, what is- the, what layer is it on? Shocking, I did it on the wrong layer! Wait, how did I- This poor bush, truly like not out here living its best life. I will never not be impressed, says Cotton. <laughs> wow, thank you. You guys are so nice. All I do is be unhinged and you guys are impressed. <laughs> I don't even really sing it. I just like say it as fast as humanly possible. Okay, I'm gonna flip it because I bet you that a bunch of my buildings are crooked and I don't want them to be. So this is my time fix it. Okay, and then this will be another building and this is actually gonna be curved even more. Just cause that's what I imagined that it would be like. And then it's gonna also need to have a save roof. Me, me, me. Fauna, fauna, fauna. Hi, Tosh. Tosh, Tosh, Tosh. That was a trick. You just tricked me. Um, thank you so much for the 100 bits. <laughs> the maximum amount of bits that you can give without me reprimanding you about debt for fun. <laughs> thank you. Oh, you're so nice. I literally can't with you. <laughs> Also, you guys, I don't know if I told you this last week, but my mom knows that I stream and I didn't know that she knew. Um, she was like talking to me about it and she was just like, oh, I mean, I texted you, but I realized when I texted you, oh, that was such a dumb time because you were streaming at 1230. So you're not going to answer. And I was like, mom, how did you even know that? <laughs> I mean, I put it in my Instagram captions and she um, follows me on Instagram and that's where she like finds all my art. So like, it's not like I was really hiding it, but at the same time, I didn't even think she understood what it meant. Like, I don't, I know. 
<laughs> like she doesn't know how Twitch works. But I was just like imagining myself like explaining it to her and I just like cannot fathom doing that. Like yeah, so I just go online and I play video games with my friends and then sometimes they give me money, but they don't have to give me money, but they just do. And she's like, what? And I'm like, and then you can sub. Um, and then sometimes I just show them my plants and she's like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, I just feel like explaining streaming to my mom would be the most difficult thing. <laughs> Tasha's like, same with my family. They know that I stream, but they don't understand what it means. <laughs> right? Like, I feel like, like, she's like, oh, you were streaming. And I'm like, yeah, but do you know what it, like, do you understand what that means, though, mom? Like, it was so funny. Oh, I was on the wrong layer. Alert. I need, like, the sound alert the, that I did that on the wrong layer. Can I redeem my own sound alert? There's a really expensive one. Oh, I, wait, I think I made it less expensive because I was like, that's really expensive. That's what I deserve for painting on the wrong layer. Oh my God, I painted so much on that layer. Oops, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Yes, that one. I deserve it. I deserved it. Um, okay, wait, hang on. Let me, I skipped some stuff. Uh, Pamela says my mom knows that I stream, but she doesn't understand. She just tells people she plays games and people give her money and they watch her play. I'm like, okay, kinda, but not really, but kinda. <laughs> I definitely think it's like, I didn't even really understand it for a while. Like I would try to explain to people why I found it entertaining and I couldn't really articulate it either. It was just like, yeah, I mean, kinda. <laughs> Pretty much sums up how people understand streaming. Definitely just like don't think that she'd understand Twitch. Like she could not make an account. She would not understand what I was talking about. And I like, I don't, <laughs> my mom is just like a Christian mother. Like she doesn't, she shouldn't watch these. You know what I mean? Like I talk about my exes. I've told you guys about like, Stuff that I did in college, which not like I did anything bad, but I just never tell her things. You know, like you just don't tell your parents certain things, um, especially when they're religious, religious, religious. So there's just like my mom. Hey, what are you doing? No throwing up. <laughs> like there, there's. I used to not worry about it at all because they actually had horrible internet, so there was like no way in the world that she ever would have even been able to watch. But now, like, feasibly, she definitely could. But, like, I don't think, I don't, I don't think she'd figure it out. <laughs> so, I'm not really that worried about it. Okay, so let's put this house here. I'm putting, like, they're, like, gondola house kind of vibes, you know? Like, you get to them by the water. This is a magic town, okay? There is no reason why this shouldn't be a possible. Also, I don't know if this is like part of that building. I imagined it was a building behind. Also, remember how I said that it was probably crooked? Guess who was right? I think I'll just take this and I'll put it like... Back there. And I'll just make it like darker. What way is the sun coming? This way? Um, and then I want like... I still think there should be some buildings back here. It'd be like... I don't know. Something. <laughs> Shouldn't it all? <laughs> 
Cameron's like, yeah, I'd literally block my mom if she followed me. Oh my god, I had to block one of my mom's friends tried to follow me on Instagram and I felt bad, but I was like, I have to block you. And then like one of my cousins or something, not my cousin actually, that it was worse. My aunt was like, got a Twitter and was like gonna try to follow me there. I was like, no, babe, no. And I just like blocked her too. Like I've had to block like my family on, on Twitter because I'm like, I'm not. I'm not doing this today, okay? You know what? There's a lot of stuff that I'll do. Um, that's not one of them. I don't need you to tell my mom about anything that I've ever written on the internet. It's so weird. It's like, do I care if a bunch of online strangers know this about me? No. Do I care if my mom knows about me? Yes. Yes, I do. Can I explain that? Not, not really, I guess. <laughs> Cotton's like, same. Touch says, I'm looking forward to any of you reaching partner so I can suggest creating a team. I don't even know what that means, Tosh. A team? Wait, hang on. I need to, um, wait, I was gonna look up something. Same. I didn't block, but I don't follow back. Oh, I couldn't even let them follow me, Cotton. I was like, this is not acceptable. Um... <laughs> Like, I don't even tweet a lot, but I guess I have 3,500 tweets, so that might be a bit of a lie. Um, but just, like, like some of it's fine. Like, my mom knows that I have a Taylor Swift obsession. She knows that I really like Animal Crossing because I've shown her my town, and she was, again, just as impressed about Squirtle as she was about this, which is to say she was not impressed and was like, that's nice, sweetie. <laughs> So I have that. A lot of it's like my art stuff, so that's fine. But one of them was about like the Me Too movement. Like my mom does not need to read that. Like not, it's like, it's not like anything that she doesn't know, but like she doesn't need to read about that. Um, and then some of it is like, um, I think, <laughs> oh, they're like, they're like not very, there are a bit like takes on my on our government that my mom would not agree with. Um, what else is in here? <laughs> One time I tweeted, "Good morning to everybody except for people who voted for Kanye as president." Um, what else did I? I I have like a lot of tweets actually. I'm kind of surprised. I don't feel like I tweet very much. <laughs> One time I tweeted, thinking about all the time my dad wasted drying dishes. I always tried to tell him that the air would dry them for him if he just waited. I bet my mom would think that was funny, actually. <laughs> um, Tasha's good thing my family isn't active on social media. Yeah, I don't think my mom would know how to make a Twitter account to save her life. But... I still don't need my aunt there. I'm sure my aunt doesn't even use it. Like, I'm sure my aunt looked at Twitter like two times and was like, that's nice that I have this, sweetie. Um, what else is on here? Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. I'm trying to like find ones that I feel like my mom would think are weird, but Honestly, I think that most of these are, would just make her be like, my daughter is kind of insane. <laughs> um, I called my cat a shithead. <laughs> I feel like she wouldn't like that. Um, oh, I tweeted about the time that I used wax paper as parchment paper. Um, okay, PSA, by the way, guys, if you didn't already know this, you cannot use wax paper and parchment paper interchangeably, okay? One of them will light on fire in your oven. Um, don't put wax paper in your oven. <laughs> okay, team is like a group of streamers. Oh, we should make a team. Yeah, someone needs to be partner. Uh, Pam Pam said, I'm working on new commands for, and stuff, and I had it a hug emote, and I got it to trigger an awesome <laughs> I can foresee this being abused. Yes, I can too. Um, everything I've added, I either have a time span on, or I'm okay with people redeeming it like eight times in a row. 
Um, no, you cannot. Okay, so... Oh, no, you're... I you're, I figured out what you meant. I thought maybe there was an emote along with the command. <laughs> um, yeah, see? Exactly. A hug emote with the command. So, cotton. Um, parchment paper is what you put in the oven to, like, at least... Uh, what it, it's what we call it over here. It's, like, paper that you can line a cookie sheet with. And you can, like, use it so that stuff doesn't stick to your pan, basically. Um, and wax paper looks um, kind of the exact same, except wax paper has wax on it. So it will, like, burn and um, light a flame in your oven. And guess who tried to make cookies with wax paper? This girl. If my mom had read that, she would have been like, wow, I'm so disappointed <laughs> in you. I can truly imagine her tweeting that. Like, if she's if she read that, she'd just be like, wow. And I raised you. <laughs> like, she would be sad, I promise you. So yeah, anyways, don't don't be like me. Don't let your house on fire. Thankfully, I didn't light it on fire, but um, the cookies were not that great. So, Fauna, you should have a hug command. I do have one, but it's not. A, it doesn't make any noise. I think it will work. See, I have one. Um, we just don't use it. <laughs> Might take Fauna one week to add five minutes to break. Hugs myself. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, Pam Pam's like, this is all about me. <laughs> um, my take, yeah, I will break it. I, I can't believe I turned off Streamlabs. Also, Cotton, I bet there's a timeout. So that's probably why I did it more. <laughs> Poor Cotton. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what else is in here. Oh yeah, one time I tweeted, the best part about your parents visiting you is the cleaning that you'll do right beforehand to pretend that your apartment um, life isn't a mess. Yeah, I don't think my mom should have read that. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? Like none of them are that bad. They're just like, oh, like... <laughs> You just probably, it's not as funny now that you've read it. Um, I also once tweeted, pretty sure growing up is owning a real vase and not just using empty Bacardi bottles to hold your flower. <laughs> not sure how she would have felt about that one. Um, a lot of these are really about Taylor Swift. I actually think I might have a problem. <laughs> Um, my response to things that annoy me is do you want to fight which let me tell you does not really make sense in the context of pokemon trainers make making eye contact with you when you're trying to do something that tweet doesn't make any sense how does it have three likes <laughs> um hug streamlabs aw streamlabs hugged itself Um, catching me saying hi to dogs and avoiding eye contact with their owners. Yo, I still do that though. Um, <laughs> I went apartment hunting and instead of asking any questions about the actual apartment, I just asked the dude if I could pet his cat. Then I proceeded to pet his cat until my uh, potential roommate that I was going to live with were all set and left. I don't really remember the apartment, but the cat's name was Smokey. <laughs> That's one of my favorite tweets. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like go back to painting now because like that's what I'm supposed to be doing if I were not a chaotic, crazy person. But anyways, I think that my Twitter is not bad. It would just make my mom very confused about who I was as a person. And I just don't need that in my life, so. <laughs> I feel like that's like the death of every social media. It's like once you've added your parents on it, it's over. Like Facebook. Do you know when I post to Facebook? Absolutely nothing. I don't post a single thing to Facebook that I care about. 
Actually, I just don't post to Facebook. And I know that other people do. So I know that I'm not like, I don't speak on behalf of everybody, but I don't post things to Facebook. I don't want my mom to read things about my life. Listen, I call my mom like once a month and that's what she gets from me. <laughs> what was the cat's name? Smokey. It was like an all black cat, I think. Um, Pampan says go to the pet store. <laughs> Yeah, Tosh, is that the kind of mouse that you needed? Um, cause you could just go to the pet store and get some. Uh, I have a friend who used to buy mice because he had a pet snake and that was terrifying. And I did not want to hold the pet snake. So I didn't hold the pet snake. So if you guys are asking me what it was like, um, I have no idea because I don't like snakes. Not that I was like, ooh, get that snake away from me. But like he, it would shed skin. And then he'd be like, you should, like, look at this and touch it. And I was like, I'm not touching. <laughs> like, it's cool that that happened. I will literally rather die than touch that snake right now. But thanks for thinking. <laughs> okay, I'm flipping it back because I don't like it. Flipping your paintings is always weird. But now that Pan Pan mentioned it the other day, I feel like whenever I don't, I now find stuff I don't like, so. This is my life. <laughs> um, Facebook, I just don't bother anymore. Yeah, I don't care anymore. It's like, listen, whatever, I don't even check it. I, I should check it more and I deleted it for a while because people, um, like I just didn't want to talk to people on it and they would message me and I would just be like, listen, you either have my number or you're not talking to me. <laughs> and then people who had my number would still Facebook message me. And I was like, you literally have my cell phone number. Why didn't you just text me? Um, I don't have an answer, by the way. I think that they just like were like, oh, well, if she's going to ignore my FB message, then she's totally going to ignore my text. But it's like, no, I would respond to a text because I'm actually using my phone. Um... And I was like, I just was about to mention I saw that you flipped. Yes, it's because now I know that all my buildings will be leaning to the left uh, if I don't. <laughs> if it was a natural painting, I wouldn't have bothered. But like all of my building stuff was leaning. Like this? This is like a leaning tower of Pisa or something. Oh my god. Guess who drew on the wrong layer? Yo girl. Anyways, that's what the actual straight line looks like, so that's cool. <laughs> um, Con's like, I don't know what happens if there's a lizard in the room, I just can't stay there. Hmm. I don't blame you. My mom doesn't like reptiles or like gerbils. My mom is not a big gerbil fan. Anything smaller than like a bunny rabbit is a questionable item. <gasps> um, but I fish were okay for some reason. Although my dad used to clean our fish tank with soap and then it would kill all the fish, which was a little bit much for a child. Um, but you know what? We all were trying our best, so no one can really be faulted. Um, okay, that is this door is like really high up, so I'm just gonna move it down. <laughs> Why did these doors become like windows? Like, what's going on right now? Okay, let's make this straight. This sounds like so, like I only like, I don't, know. <gasps> I don't know where I was going with that. Um, anyways, Cotton Redeemed Hydrate. Thank you, Cotton. Good call. I should drink. It 
Somebody thought that yesterday I was going to um, drink every time I said wisp, and I was like, no, no, it's a challenge for you guys to stay hydrated, not me. <laughs> uh, I think it was Soul Thief, and I was like, no, 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 um, I am all set, but you guys should do it. But then I was like, okay, no one, I, I don't want to be responsible for your drowning, so everybody play responsibly. Oh my god, it's almost been two hours. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, wait, hang on. I need to delete these clouds. Does this ever happen to you guys? Like, who use Procreate? Sometimes I have to get... In order to get this like color picker thing to come out, it takes like five tries. I can't tell if it's just like a me problem or if it's like a bug that Procreate has just never been able to fix, but it happens to me all the time. I have to like push it like five times and then it goes. Um, the F1 race is finally getting interesting and we're 43 laps in. Oh my god! <laughs> That is so many laps, what the heck. Um, time flies when you're having fun. Uh. <laughs> Wait, that's actually really good. Um, that's actually really good. Uh, how are you so creative right now? Let me see if I can... Oh, it did not like that. Wait, add quote. I didn't actually even push anything. Wait a minute, hang on. I wanna know how to do this. Um, how to add quote stream labs. There was another quote I said I was gonna add to and I didn't add it, so I also need to add the one. Can you use quote or quote? Yeah, I know how to get a quote stream labs, but how do I add a quote? Command add. Yeah, quote, add. Listen, that's what I did, you instruction manual, you. Um, quote settings. You know what? Oh, well. Add quote. Okay, you know what? Pan Pan is sitting here and giving me all the answers, so let's just try that. Oh, wait. I don't have it copied anymore. Any mod should be able to do this too, but... Yeah! Mm. <laughs> there you go, fam. <laughs> um, you guys are way smarter than me. I'm like sitting here Googling stuff like a crazy person. <laughs> Now even I'm watching F1. Oh my god, you guys. Should I turn it on too? Is it is it invigorating? I usually take nap and feel like crap. Not actually anything. <laughs> you know what? Matt can add those. <laughs> um, heck yeah. Turn it on. How do you watch these things? F1 race. All right, guys, this is no longer an art and video game account. It's a streaming Grand Prix account. Oh, wait, you have to watch it on ESPN live. Watch Formula One online. Yeah, no, I'm all good with, like, not spending money on you. Hulu. Okay. It, oh, it's in the Hulu live bundle. Um, okay, YouTube TV. Okay, that costs money. Okay, there's no way to watch this for free. How are you guys watching this? <laughs> oh, I paused the music. Sorry. That's why I like having Verizon, because I can access live channels. Wait, I have Verizon! Pam Pam, we are just like, wait. <laughs> we have so many random similarities. 
Um, but I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I don't have the same plan as you or something. Because I've never heard of being able to do that. So my guess is that I cannot. Even though I have Verizon. I'm on like my mom's plan. <laughs> um, shout out to my mom for paying for my phone plan. Um, I hope that she knows that I am planning on being on her phone plan forever. And that death will probably fall upon me before um, I get off of that plan. So, thanks mom. I just realized that the lighting is coming from over here. So I think that it should actually be lighter on the edge. I don't really know though. It kind of makes it look a little funny. Maybe I just won't make the contrast as intense, you know? Because I think that the water reflecting would make it brighter. So you've got to, you've got to think about everything. The light is coming this way. I need to like get gondola references up at some point because there's no way I'm going to be able to just draw this boat. It's definitely like not long enough either. Okay, go to ESPN and it will have you sign in based on your internet connection. Oh, I don't have Verizon internet. I just have Verizon phone. My internet is Xfinity. So that's probably why. Um, Red Bull lead in last two lap. Okay, there's Ferrari, Red Bull, Ferrari. A lot of them are called Ferrari, apparently. <laughs> How is it Ferrari, Mercedes, and then Red Bull? Is he driving a can of Red Bull? I have AT&T. Oh no, Verizon signal sucks, but... <laughs> I only have Verizon um, internet. Oh, I don't even have that. My, A lot of my friends actually have AT&T, and it's a lot better up here than it used to be. Um, I feel like I'm not doing any work. Hang on. I don't know why I decided to do this painting, because I feel like now we have a lot of work to do. And do I ever do work? No. Okay, the houses need like little tiles or something. Not like that though. I just want them to have a pattern. Um, it's the companies that sponsor the team. Oh, gotcha. A lot of them are very big companies. I know nothing about them. But apparently there's only like two laps left, so it sounds very like it should be intense at this point. Um, also, with what that... <laughs> with what that quote... Pam Pam. No one, I have no idea what that means, but hi Matt, how's it going? We're trying to paint. I'm not getting very far though. Although I guess I shouldn't say that. We got pretty far. It's just time for like details and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I have stuff that I need to do. 
Also, my favorite cupcake place is closing. I'm very sad about it. I need to like get cupcakes every day now. Which like isn't exactly the plan that I was going for in my endeavor to be more healthy, but when the cupcake pl place closes, what are you supposed to do? Okay, I need to make this lighter. Following the light rules that I have set up for myself is truly the world's biggest challenge. Okay, that is way too light. Hang on. So if it's hitting by the sun, it should be warmer. There we go. Progress is being made right now. Don't talk about F1, I haven't watched it yet. Isn't it live? <laughs> Do you watch those late, Warrior? <laughs> Jade, hello! How's it going? Welcome in. Um, I know, I record it and skip ads. Oh, Warhammer. Bruh, the race almost be over. I've got these live Google results right now. <laughs> That's on you, Faye. I can't believe that y'all are just like, I'm not a part, I was not a part of this club, but you were all ready for it. And I'm just like sitting here being like, is that NASCAR? <laughs> Re Matt, you ask me to say that every day. <laughs> And I still don't know the meme that it's referring to. NASCAR is shite. I don't watch any racing, to be honest. I just come here and I vibe, and if you guys talk about racing, then I listen. <laughs> oh, that is on the wrong layer. Yo, girly is so good at drawing on the wrong truly uh, a, a skill that everybody wishes that they had okay so here's the old sky and here is the new sky I think I like the simple sky so I feel good about deleting the old layer um, I'm gonna go work on the birdies a little bit Cause they're just like scribbles right now say it you will break the streak is there a streak going on though or is it just like a thing that you're you're decided because i don't feel like there is a streak and maybe we should break it because the counting streak got broken by me so i should just break all the streaks you know Mayonnaise on escalator going upstairs, so see you later. Okay, fine. This is the sixth stream. <laughs> I still, like, don't even know why I say it, honestly. Like, I don't know what that's from. I feel like I've never heard that before. Also, I never draw, like, normal birds. I just draw, like, these fake birds. Do we have like power lines? I kind of like having power lines sometimes. I think you would think that they're not pretty, but I kind of like having them. They just bring like real realism. I guess that's a little low. Why is my cat eating right now? Babe, is this the time to have to eat right now? She's not answering because she's eating. Do 
I'm gonna delete these now that I made the poll. I don't feel like the... I like where I put the cords. <laughs> Maybe this one should be less tall. So they usually have like boxes on them. Um, don't end stream. Okay, wait, I wanna go get a burger. Okay, have fun going getting a burger. Um, cancel Fauna for not saying it. I just said it when I read Warhammer's message. So there, how do you not know I showed it to you? Did you really? <laughs> I don't remember it at all. Um, oh, thank you for the hug, Pam Pam. I will not end stream, you have an hour. So come back before an hour. Um, end it now. <laughs> you need a redeem, which is end stream. I know, Tosh has one and I've been trying to save for it, but I am really far behind. I need like, um, I need like a lot more monies. Like, like a lot more monies. Um, <laughs> if I did one, it would be um, the same amount, though, I think. It would be like 666,000 bits. Okay, Fauna, check memes on Discord. Okay, I will. Hang on. When I take a break, I'll, I'll, I'll do them. And I'm going to take a break really soon, because it's been two hours and we haven't taken a break yet. I just want to get these little telephone poles, polies, my little polies in here. Simp. <laughs> Warmer, you're so aggressive right now. OMG. Um, Matt says, I didn't say it, but I love your hair. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> I slept on it, so it's not as curly as yesterday. Um... <laughs> like a super intensive minecraft player <laughs> Ooh, are you playing minecraft right now because that sounds fun i literally have been like i guess just want to play arceus and triangle strategy and the witcher 3 and animal crossing all at the same time and also paint so it's been a bit of a thing lately because e -boy. E -boy. <laughs> Thanks for the redeem. <laughs> Ugh, where should this pole be going? Anyways, that's too thick for for how far it's going. I put them in front of the buildings because they need to go in front of the building, but <laughs> I really like the sound redeem. Honestly, they're kind of a vibe. Um, Matt says proud simp. Proud fauna simp for sure. <laughs> Aw. You guys are too nice to me. Um, Matt redeem lair check. Okay, I'm on the right lair, but it's not a very good Evil. lair, which Evil. makes it look like I'm on the wrong lair. <laughs> Thank you for all of the sound alert redeems, Warhammer. Pika, pika. <laughs> It amazes me that they are entertaining to anybody. Okay, I have to delete this extra wire that doesn't go anywhere. Um, and then I'm gonna do three more. What is that song? This is a weird song. <laughs> okay, I guess it's getting better. It, it seems a little loud to me though. Um, you fixed Pika Pika. Yeah, I fixed it. I told you guys I'd fix it. I'm on it. Um, I think this song is weird. I'm gonna see how much of it we can skip. 
Okay, it's calmed down. <laughs> uh, I have like six 1k to spend. Wait, is it 6k or is it 1k? <laughs> this is just lo-fi music in shower POV. <laughs> right? It was like a rain stick. That was weird. Um, okay, these like poles are really like aggressive. I feel like they need to be like adjusted and maybe like a lighter color. They might be a little thick. Tick. They might be tick poles, you know what I mean? Um, I don't hate them though. They're a little overbearing, so I might make them like a brown. Oh, I hate that. I literally hate that. They, I actually think that they do look better as a brown. I'm just gonna... lighten them a bit and then I'll maybe give them some shading and they'll probably look fine 6.1k that's a lot especially after everybody did the challenge for all of the um you know my animation challenge I hope you guys enjoyed that by the way um I am gonna go take a break now though because I haven't taken a break and it's been two hours so I'll see y'all in a couple minutes I'm gonna eat some potato chips so I'll try not to be too long because I get really addicted to potato chips and then I don't come back <laughs> so BRB
I'm almost out of potato chips. Okay, fine. There's like not a lot left, so I'm gonna finish them and then we can suffer together at my painting. Hang on, I forgot I was almost out of water. I'm gonna get water and then I'll come back. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry that that was like the longest break ever, but I'm back. I guess it was 10 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty long. <laughs> I had to eat. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hungry, hungry hippo. Um, so before we get back to my, regu reg my, reg my regularly scheduled painting, I thought I would share with you some of the other tweets that I've been reading because I just really feel like some of them are funny. So one of them is, maybe this should be a redeem at some point, but <laughs> it takes me a while to find them. So um, one of them is so blind, I looked at the stoplight and I said, is that the moon? And that really makes me understand that I have not changed because Warhammer wants me to lose my glasses and I would look outside and I'd be like, I think that's the moon. Um, the next one is, this year Valentine's Day is also my payday, and I think that is the only gift I care about getting. <laughs> um, <laughs> another one is, just showed my mom that she doesn't need the flashlight app anymore on her iPhone because it will do it without an app. <laughs> Not sure how they live their life without me. Um... <laughs> This was an empty threat. I said Netflix can pay 1 million for friends, but they better be ready to make the same commitment for Parks and Rec because otherwise I'll cancel Netflix. And I actually haven't canceled Netflix, but I have purchased Parks and Rec. Um, <laughs> when the project is due in seven hours, but no one else has, has submitted anything either. So at least you know you're not alone. Um, 
This is about my obsession with ice water. You can pry my ice water out of my cold, freezing hands in the middle of winter after I've just come inside from a negative 15 degree snowstorm because your girl just gotta have ice. <laughs> I also just like use the shocked Pikachu meme, which is like 10 out of 10 face. Um, okay, more about my painting. <laughs> okay, a lot of these are like medium funny, but some of them I liked. Napkins are such a rich person thing. That I still believe is true. Um, <laughs> I don't think we need bumpers, I say as I bowl a game and score 86. Um, that's true. I will literally go bowling and I'll be like, we don't need bumpers, we'll be fine. And then I bowl a game of 86. For anyone who doesn't like know off the top of their head, that's bad. <laughs> I should definitely have bowled higher than that. Um, when I do wee bowling, I can easily get like 186. Minimum like 150. I think that these need to just be like more ambient. So like back here, they should be very light and then they'll slowly get a little darker. And I think that they should be like more bluey and less red. Just cause that's the vibe I'm getting. I feel like they already look better. Um, so I'm happy now. I really need to work on the houses, so I need to stop getting so distracted, but. Um, 86 isn't bad. How many rounds do you play? That's like the 10 rounds. So like 10 times that I get to throw the ball and to knock down 10 pins, I only got 86. Which is not good, because it's not like I hit 86 out of the 100 pins. <laughs> um, Netflix will cancel you. You know what? Netflix can cancel me. You guys have already all canceled me many times before, so what is Netflix gonna do that y'all haven't already done? Okay? Riddle me that. Sorry, that might have been a little aggressive. I'm just adding some shading. Okay, napkins are such a rich person thing. They really are. Like, paper towels, please. Hello. Um, 86 isn't bad. How many rides do you play? Yeah, so that's just the one game. Fauna, there's a line between Wii Sports and real life. Okay, what is it? Because I don't know what it is. Pray do tell. Because I don't believe you. I don't think there is a difference. I haven't met her, so I haven't seen the difference. Um, Wii Sports is the real deal. Such fun times. I've never canceled you. Cotton, you were the you were the the MVP for not canceling me. So thanks. Everybody else here loves to cancel. Yo, girl. <laughs> um, make a Netflix documentary about canceling you. Is it a documentary if you make it about yourself? Doesn't it have a different name if you make a movie about yourself and not somebody else? Also, I almost said about. Um, the first word that came to my mind was mockumentary, but that's not it. Um, Maybe it is just a documentary because Taylor Swift is a documentary and she made it herself. 
I guess I made up that rule. I thought it was a different name if you if you did it to yourself. Um, I'm good at water surfing in game, but I would actually die if I did it in real life. <laughs> Aww, Warhammer. That sounds true about me too. I'm gonna like... I feel like I liked this idea and I still do. It's just like a lot of work. <laughs> Um, okay, so now that we've got... Sorry, there's this thing I learned about recently called tangents, and I'm trying not to make any. It's basically when, like, lines of your artwork intersect too perfectly with other lines in your artwork, because I guess it, like, creates these things called visual tangents, and they're kind of supposed to be, like, they're technically bad, because... Like, if you're not doing them on purpose, then you create this visual tension where you maybe didn't want to. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I don't make any. <laughs> Am I in the wrong layer? Mm. Mm. No. Um, okay. Back. Is that what's going on about off-topic stuff when you go on a tangent? Yeah. That is exactly what's going on on a tangent. Um, Vol Jane says, weird question though, water surfing? Is there another kind of surfing I've been missing my whole life? Like, I'm from Florida and I know we call water skiing just skiing, but skiing on snow is snow skiing. Oh, that's so interesting because being in Vermont where it's really snowy, we call it skiing is snow skiing and then water skiing is water skiing. <laughs> I never really thought about it being backwards though. I like it. It's kind of cool. I never thought about that. I'm still in the wrong layer. Someone should cancel me. How am I still on the wrong layer? I'm locking this. Bad, bad fauna. Bad fauna. You don't get to draw on that layer anymore. <laughs> I was like, why am I in front of the foliage right now? Okay, let me fix this. Wow, that was an entire debacle, truly. Um, so the pink should be, like, here? No, I actually think it should be... I'm trying to make this roof make sense. I think I just need to pull it out a little bit more. Um, exactly, but what other kind of surfing is there? Concrete surfing? <gasps> no, that's skating. Uh, no, that's skateboarding. Skating is on quads, and rollerblading is just rollerblades. Yeah, I don't think there's another kind of surfing. Um, types of surfing. Wave surfing. Yeah, but these are all, like, water. Like, these are just different kinds of water surfing. Um, like, it's like wave surfing, wind surfing, but you're still on the water. Um, uh, type, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I feel like there is only water surfing. <laughs> Oh, quads are like regular skates, four wheels in a square versus four or five wheels in a line. Oh! I don't think I knew that distinction, actually. You learn something new every day, especially when I'm talking to you guys. There's always something. Today, it was that people in Florida consider skiing just water skiing. It makes so much sense, but 
I never would have thought of that. I'm gonna make this pink a little less saturated and then put it on this house. <laughs> That did not help at all. Cotton, if you're watching, this is why I never do the autofill because I, I know I could make it work better, but it just like, my brushes are never 100% opacity, so it just does not, it doesn't vibe with me. <laughs> this should be a lighter color ah sorry that was aggressive i only know this because my grandfather used to teach dance skating and i learned to skate on quads jade why is that the coolest thing i've like ever heard like i'm sorry my grandparents were teachers and your grandfather used to teach dance skating like that's literally the coolest thing i've ever heard <laughs> Like, what? Uh, so he'd get a little snippy if I said I was going snake skating and would put on rollerblades. Like, those aren't skates, they're rollerblades. That reminds me of like when moms are like, it's not can I go to the park, it's may I go to the park or whatever. And it's like, yes, may I? And it was just like, mom, you know what I meant. <laughs> That's like the exact vibes that that gives me. <sighs> we don't have snow, says Warhammer. That's kind of nice. Sometimes I wish I didn't have snow. <laughs> you do need a 100% opacity brush for that. Yeah, like it works all right. Like if I did it over here, it would be okay. But it just like, I never do. So it never really is helpful. Um, Better for me to just use alpha lock and color fill, but then I'm lazy. So unless I'm doing the whole layer, then it's like, uh, Jay says my grandfather was a teacher, taught physics, was an engineer, and then taught dance skating on the weekends kind of thing. How do you have so much time in your life to do physics and then engineering and dance skating? Like that truly is astounding to me and I respect it a lot. Um, like, imagine even being good at physics. I could never. <laughs> physics was probably my lowest grade in all of high school. I'm not gonna lie. I was so bad at physics. Um, in all of my classes by my senior year, I had basically even moved, I'd moved up to an advanced class instead of the regular classes because they were like, you're doing really well, but not for physics, not for physics. They're like, yeah, you can just stay here. And I was like, thank you. Cause I was doing so poorly. <laughs> I'm terrible at science. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I find it so hard, but I can't do it. I like commend anybody who's good at it. <laughs> um, Soul Thieves is your mom new, but what about future employers? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> That's what my mom always said. Yes! Exactly. It's like, what are they gonna think? It's like, mom, I don't care about what the person I haven't even met thinks yet. Jason, I have no idea. He also had six kids and my grandmother was a nurse. Wow! They had a lot of they're crazy. Warhammer says, I can potentially top both my great grandfathers. He did the leather seats for the F1 cars. That's cool. Um, Jay says, I somehow made it out of high school and college without having to take physics. <laughs> I had to take biophysics and um, chem all in high school. But in college, I didn't really have to take anything because I majored in accounting. Warhammer's like, ignore both. <laughs> Cotton's like, physics is basically boring math, though. It is, but it's, like, hard boring math. Like, I'm really good at math, but physics makes it, like, complicated. Like, physics is, like, okay, now if we make... If you think about all those word problems you were doing in math, we are going to make them eight times as harder. And you know that thing that math problems do where they, like, fake you out? 
and then give you a bunch of like fake info, you know, where they're just like, oh yeah, so calculate the speed of the watermelon. By the way, it's a very sunny day. You, you, like when you're doing a regular math problem, you know that that's a fake out. You know, like, oh my God, they're just saying that because they're trying to confuse me in info. But when that happens in um, physics, I just like, don't know. I'm like, does it matter that it's sun? Does the mass weight of the rain affect the evaporation of the cart? And it's like, I can't, and then my brain explodes. So, <laughs> is, I'm back. You're back. Yay. You made it. I hope you have a, a, a tasty snack. Um, Solthus has come to find out they don't care. <laughs> yes, seriously. Um, I feel that way. It's like, and also, like, why would I live my life according to the pot potential rules of someone I haven't met yet? Like, you you guys were really just, like, living in fear, truly. Um, like, you guys were really like, you know what, maybe someone I might meet in the future won't like this, so I'll just won't do it, just in case. It's like, wait a minute, what, what kind of life advice is that? Um, Warhammer says 2 plus 2 equals 5. I feel like you should get an A for effort. Um, but that's maybe why I'm not a teacher. <laughs> there was a really funny TikTok of a professor or a teacher, like, grading a kid's video essays or, like, responses to, the, like, her semester-long tasks. And the kid, like in this assignment would put like pictures of john cena and stuff on his assignment as like his answer and it was really funny um that it was just like she went through this whole thing and she was like yeah and i asked him to send a picture of what he liked and he just posted a picture of john cena so again not exactly what the requirement had was supposed to be <laughs> and she just like kept going it was really funny like this kid really just like did what he wanted and he was like i don't care and i kind of respect it i never did anything that exciting when i was in school okay so we've got some shading happening finally which is good I'm gonna delete some of the shrubbery. I am gonna put some of it back. I just feel like it was getting a little out of my control. Um, a for awesome. <laughs> Cotton's like, yeah, this is my friend, John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that's what he did. And then like, he was supposed to be like, here's five things I love about the neighborhood. And then he was like, this is my neighbor who has really loud barking dogs um, and that always complain. And I interviewed him to say what he liked about, or it was, I don't even remember, but he just like would, he like complained about his neighborhood and was just like, yeah, everybody in this neighborhood is really mean. Take for example, this neighbor. And it was so funny. It was so funny. Vampire says, I avoided doing exciting things in high school. I just avoided doing in high school. Like I did my classes and then that was it. Fana, do you think we would have been friends in high school? Were you cool, Pan Pan? Were you cool? Because I wasn't cool. So if you were cool, probably not. If you weren't cool, which like, how could you not have been the cool one? Maybe? I, my freshman year was um, really weird still because <laughs> I was homeschooled for pretty much my whole life until high school. So I hadn't like developed social skills. So like I was very clingy to the friends that I did have. So my guess is that like you would not have liked me, but maybe after I'd like gotten my bearings and like, you know, like think sophomore and junior year, I feel like I was better. College, you probably would have liked me. I liked anybody who liked eating and was nice, so <laughs> that was pretty much it. <laughs> Do I give off cool high school vibes? Kind of. I bet you were cool in high school, but not like the bad way, because I feel like that's also like people make fun of people who were cool in high school. 
<laughs> so I don't mean that in the insult way, to be clear. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's hard to tell. Like, if people were cool in high school. I know people who peaked in high school, but I only know that because I know them. And they were like, high school is- Anyone who ever tells you that high school is the best time of your life, like, I'm sorry, but you peaked in high school, babe. Like... Okay, I'm actually gonna leave this building here. Because high key, I don't know how to get rid of it without ruining the comp that I have. Um, okay, Pan Pan. Okay, I missed a lot of chat. Oops. Okay, I was close I was close with every group, but I didn't get close to anyone. I was cool with every group, but I didn't get close to anyone. My best friend said was very cool and I just didn't know. Yeah, we probably would have been like half friends because I would have been like, oh, you're too cool for me. And then you would have had other people to hang out with. So <laughs> maybe. So he says, if I ever had to answer the question, it was no. I thought you were only allowed to have one friend. Same. I thought it was like one best friend for life, but especially when I was in middle school. Jade says, my English teacher in 10th grade would assign these super boring prompts for writing. One week he says it's three, four, five, and my smart self asks did you mean three four five like pythagorean theorem the prompt is three four five so do you want us to write about triangles three four five okay so i wrote a story about five messages from an alien race and three and the three four and five one spelled out the destruction of earth did you get a good grade though <laughs> oh it looks like he was not amused my grade was see me after class he told me i had an a but he wanted to make sure when i got to doing the prompts for standardized testing that the most obvious prompt is the right answer I feel like that is ridiculous. Um, the fact that you were creative with it is amazing. Like, what did they want from you? <laughs> Man, you really cannot please anybody. Um, Pam Pan said, I was also homeschooled to high school. Stop, homeschool gang. I always vibe with people who are homeschooled and I never know that they're homeschooled until after. And then I'm like, <laughs> then usually I'm like that makes sense but you like are cool enough that I actually wouldn't I'm surprised to hear that but sometimes you just give off homeschooled kid vibes and I and you just kind of like I implicitly know but not for you you're actually like I didn't get those vibes from you basically um not like hating on homeschool kids because I literally was one um my mom made me wait. I wanted to go way earlier. I got kicked out of the homeschool co-op. All the girls were really mean to me in my homeschool co-op. Like, they bullied me. I would, like, go home crying. I was like, I don't want to go back, Dad. And he was like, yeah, well, we don't really want to pay for it anymore, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm, like, getting bullied at, at my, like, fake school. And he's just like, yeah, well, it's kind of expensive, so I'm fine. <laughs> um okay should this house be like i do not know what to do over here maybe we'll just make it taller i'll put some like fake houses in the back that's what we'll do um people who peaked in high school are very obvious as adults yes they really are like they're just like miserable <laughs> okay jade says in fairness i skipped his class all the time and he knew, but I would show up for tests on Fridays and I breezed through his class. Yeah, who cares? You are doing great, Jade. <laughs> uh, Salty says, okay, okay. School history, K1, homeschool. K through one, homeschool. Two through 10, private. 11 through 12, homeschool. That's weird. It must have been so weird to go to a private school and then get homeschooled again at the end. Um, I can't imagine what that would be like. I just went from like mostly one to the other with the exception of seventh grade. Um, Warhammer says, what's homeschool co-op? We don't have that here. Um, I'm not going to speak on behalf of Pam Pam because hers might have been different, but mine was basically like kids who were homeschooled, but like because they were homeschooled, they had nothing else to do. So your parents could like sign you up for a co-op, which was kind of like going to school, but you wouldn't go for the whole day. And it would, it wouldn't, it would kind of just be like a, to fill in. 
It was kind of just to get socialization in, honestly, because homeschooled kids, shocking, don't usually get enough of it because they're at home all day. And then your parents ask you why you're weird. <laughs> It's like, well, I sat all day with you, so what does that say about you, Dad? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that might be a little bit too uh, me-specific, but... Um... Soulthieves says it was because I had to drop out to take care of my mom and grandmother who both had cancer. Jesus, soul thief! That is so rough! I'm so sorry! I can't believe you had to do that! Imagine trying to graduate and have to do that. I, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Pam Pan, I agree. It's like school for homeschool kids. Um, like you go, you do homeschool, but you go to class together. So he's like, I could care less for school at that point, right? You've so much going on. Like who even cares? So I totally get that, but that sucks. Oh shit. <laughs> Forget that I draw things on the same layer and then I draw over them like a crazy person. Um, Pamban's like, that makes sense. Uh, just, I was gonna say it's mostly for social stuff, right? Yeah, basically for me. Um, Pamban's like, a lot of so homeschoolers don't socialize or have good shelter, or good have social skills because they're sheltered. I was lucky for that not to be my case. Yeah, I was very sheltered. Um, I thought that people acted in real life like they did on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. So then when people bullied me, I was very confused. <laughs> Warhammer is like, we only have public and private school. In the US, you can basically choose to homeschool your kids for any reason. Um, usually it's because they're excelling in something. So like if you want them to do sports or something, you usually homeschool them so they have more time to dedicate to their craft. But um, also, it happens for religious reason regions, reasons, not regions. Um, so that's also a thing, <sighs> which is not, which is a little unfortunate if you ask me, because then your parents are just deciding for you what you should be learning and letting their religious beliefs infiltrate on that instead of trusting the education system. So it's a little bit of a mess about that. But those are like the reasons. When you make a window really crooked, um, we don't, it's okay, it's just part of my history. Yeah, it sounds really rough, Soul Thief. Um, I cannot believe that you had to do all that. I would not have cared about school at all at that point either. That is a lot to put on somebody graduating at that age. Um, yeah, it's not super popular to homeschool, I feel like. People don't act like Sweet Life is Zack and Cody in real life. No, they don't. When you walk up to somebody and you do the clapping thing that London Tipton does, where she's like, I'm gonna back up. That, that's not like a thing people did. So they did think I was a little weird. Um, thankfully I did that in middle school though, um, and not high school. So I kind of had figured out that people didn't do that by then. But yeah, I like had no idea how people worked. <laughs> I was like, you don't all go, go home and like watch Disney Channel? And they were like, no, we're gonna watch like the Titanic. And I was like, what's the Titanic? And then they would like tell me about Leonardo DiCaprio. And then we would be like, paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Interesting times being in middle school, truly. Okay, this roof needs is like screaming out in pain. I'm going to just like differentiate the roof. And then I'm gonna bring this down a bit. Um, in my case, medical caretaker for others, medical 
or others medical for themselves. I had a friend who dropped homeschool because of her medical. I remembered when I first started watching anime and was doing the anime mood in the hallway. I had a friend who did cartwheels in the hallway and she got detention just because they were annoyed at her, honestly. Um, Pam Pan said we called those kids the courtyard kids. <laughs> um, they would also bark at me. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever barked at somebody, so I guess I can add that to my resume. Um, London was based on Paris. Yeah, she was totally based on Paris Hilton. One million percent, and I loved every minute of her. The Prindle scene, if you guys watch Sweet Life, you must know what I'm talking about when I say the Prindle scene. Um, it's literally like peak comedy. I love that. And I think that I could probably recite it word for word if I watched it like one more time. <laughs> it's so good because he's like, please, you know, start driving. And he's like, take a hand of the gear shift. And she's like, what's the gear shift? And he's like, the gear shift. And she's like, oh yeah, the, pr the Prindle. And he's like, the Prindle? And she's like, yeah, it says Prindle. And he's like, that stands for park, reverse, and neutral drive, and, and loud, or whatever. And then she's like, hmm. And then he's like, do you want me to turn on the radio? Would you like am or foom? And it's so funny. The whole scene is so good. And I loved every moment of that show. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to do a foot peel or just let my feet be rough and used. I mean, are you gonna walk barefoot a lot, Pan Pan? You give me like vibes like you're the kind of person who would just like have really tough feet because like I have really weak feet. So if I, I mean, if I like stand on a pebble, I'm like, that's over for me. But like you live in the South, so I feel like it would be more like, you your feet would get tougher because it, like I can't walk out, like for six months out of the year, I can't walk outside in anything other than like really heavy boots. Um, Soul Thieves is the kids who laughed at me are massive geeks now. <laughs> the kids who laughed at me are now all in Ponzi schemes in my case. Um, so I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Because I am not in a Ponzi scheme. Or I'm sorry, pyramid scheme, I guess I should say. <laughs> Would you like, mm, or foo? Yeah, I loved that scene. That was my favorite. Um, Pam Pan says I always walk barefoot. I have really tough uh, feet skin because of it. <laughs> yeah, see, then like I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's worth it for you not to uh, to to soften them up because you'll just be rough on them later. But I don't know. I'm I don't have that problem. I just have weak feet because. I don't need to have strong feet. I just wear my Birkenstocks all the time. That's just kind of what I do. And that works out enough. It's almost like being barefoot. But then I don't have to worry about stepping on glass that's everywhere. Which is another plus, if you ask me. I did this soap peel once and it made my feet, most of my feet soft for two weeks, but not the real hard stuff. Wow. Not that sound. <laughs> we don't want to talk about the girls who make fun of me. Um, yeah, no. People didn't really make fun of me openly. I feel like girls are very, like, backstabby. So I always felt like... I, you just kind of heard about mean things that people would say about you and you wouldn't like like no one ever walked up to me and was just like we think you look funny <laughs> but like you would just get vibes you know what i mean girls are just like really mean so they'll just like insult you to like all your friends and then your friends will like agree with them and then your friends will be like listen like if you guys have watched mean girls it's kind of like mean girls but like way less dramatic um, but like it felt very representative to life at the same time um okay i'm gonna put some windows in here i have a bunch of references up and i haven't even looked at them so i think that net is the cue for me to start <gasps> 
in a class of maybe 30 that was a combo of two schools. I had a really small middle school and then a decently small high school, but not that small. I think I had like a thousand kids. Um, oh no, lair check. Am I in the wrong lair? Oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Foof. Um, people were too scared to say something about me because they knew I'd hear about it and do something about it. Yes, Pan Pan, it's the fire sign energy. So 15 each. Warhammer Redeemed Stretch, thank you. I went to my middle, the school that I went to for middle school only had one high schooler. I can't imagine how you get any learning in when you're the only student. <laughs> uh, one K for your entire school. Yeah, that was a lot for us. Um, my class was the smallest class. It had like 170 kids. And then the class right below us was like the biggest class. They had like 250 kids and most of them averaged around like 200 something. So we had like a thousand kids. But we had a really small class. Um, my senior class alone was 2,500. Oh my god. Did your graduation take 95 years? <laughs> because let me tell you, I thought my graduation was long enough. Um, and I did wear heels to my graduation because I wanted to just be really tall and powerful. And I don't regret it. I didn't trip, so... Cotton says, I'm a double water sign, so I did everything to avoid confrontation. Yes! I'm actually not a water sign, even though I thought I was. Um, but I also am not a confrontational person. But I have lots of fire sign friends, so they do it all for me. <laughs> double water. You're triple fire? That's so many fire, Pam Pam. <laughs> uh, we're talking about our water sign, so you can have your sun sign and your moon sign, Warhammer. It was like four hours. Jesus. Goodbye, graduation. I'm, I wanted to skip my college one, but my mom was like, yeah, no, you're not, you're not doing that. And I was like, I know, but like, what if I did? And she was like, again, no. And I was like, fine, we'll go. And I had to take off of work. And I was like, I gotta go. I can't work because I gotta go to my stupid graduation. And they were like, don't you want to like celebrate your accomplishments? <laughs> And I was like, meh. They make it so painful and long. I wore heels and an animal print dress. Oh, I love it. We had a dress code, so I had to wear white. But it was because I get white robes, I guess. I Maybe we didn't have a dress code, but everybody pretty much wore white. So I don't remember. <laughs> Um, so these are out of 15. Last time I heard I was the only one that even went to college, but I don't know about the boys. <sighs> men. I like not knowing about men, <laughs> personally. <laughs> okay, so... Let me, um... Also, if you guys, like shows that are really confusing i've been watching severance on apple tv and it is giving me such a mind fuck like it's crazy um how do you find out these astrology things you just look up your birthday uh what do i search to find out just like google astrology and your birthday <laughs> if you know what time you were born then you can find your moon sign i think it's moon it might be rising I don't remember. There's like different ones. Your sun sign is your main sign, which is based on your birthday. Then you have your rising sign, which I think is the one that's based off of the placement of the moon at your time of birth. And then there's, hmm, then there's your, there's your sun sign and there's your moon sign. So maybe the moon sign is the moon one. But you'll have, there's three. So there's the sun, the rising, and the moon. Uh, so this is Taurus, Pisces, and Cancer. Ooh, you've got like a nice little mix over there. Um, yeah, you can just look it up. Severance is the one about office. Yeah, it's the one where you sever your brain so that your brain self, your brain, your work self never remembers your life and your... Um, 
actual self never remembers work. But it's a really messed up show. Like, I don't think it's, like, trigger warning worthy, but it's definitely, like, insane. <laughs> oh my god, it is crazy. Like, every episode I'm just like, oh, what? And then, like, it just keeps happening. Also has Ben Wyatt from Parks. And I like Ben. I know that some people don't like Ben, but I think he's okay. I'm not on team hate Ben. I hate when your art is so crooked that when you draw a straight line, you like don't believe it's a straight line. You're like, that can't be right. astrology to her. A Pisces born in March is aggressive and opinionated. Professional goals are a priority and success is an important goal in their lives. Despite this, they are also tuned into life's spiritual aspects. <laughs> Cotton says, all I'll say is Leslie deserves better. I am... I disagree and I don't disagree because I think Leslie Nope um, is... <laughs> Pam Pam, no! <gasps> um, I think that Leslie Nope deserves the world. But I like Ben. I think I'm Ben, so... <laughs> Look at this for your chart. Don't adjust for daylight savings time. Oh my god, this thing thinks of everything. But yeah, anyways, as adopted gang, your girl has no idea what time she was born, so I only ever get my sun sign. <laughs> oh wait, I added these power lines in because I wanted to draw birds. How did I forget about the birds? I just wanted to draw some like little birdies sitting on the on the little poles, you know, some little birdies. I really wanted to do that. That was the whole point I did that actually. Um, okay, so okay, Fauna, just paint the rest of the houses. NBD, NBD, NBD. I'm gonna give these some reflection. We have five minutes left, so we can do this. We can totally do this. We'll just finish the whole painting, except for the boat, because the boat is not happening right now. Okay, Fauna, Fauna, think of windows. Continue thinking of windows. Okay, cool. You got those windows. Now do these windows. I'm um, sorry that I'm missing chat. I went on a window spree. Um, I'm gonna dip for a sec, so I'll be back. We're gonna end stream really soon, Warhammer, so I might be gone when you come back. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Otherwise, I streamed for four hours yesterday, and I probably shouldn't have gone that long. But I really wanted to do all the Arceus stuff. Um, Pam Pam said, I like the colors you're using. I can send you this palette, but if you want, you can also just screenshot it. This is the color palette that I'm using, and I'm not really straying from it. I kind of thought it would be, like, fun. It's giving me, like, Lego vibes, though, so I'm trying to make it look a little bit more grounded in reality. But I feel like it's fun. It's, like, giving me the fun vibes I was looking for. I've been meaning to ask, do you follow color theory, or do you go off of intuition? So, I think it's both. Um, I have tried using the, like color theory stuff in here and it doesn't work for me what does work for me though is making color palettes of stuff that i like and then like that kind of helps me get a vibe for the colors that i like using 
Um, I know color theory, like I know how it works, but I kind of just like naturally have a, a decent eye for art. So if I see something that I like, it usually has like decent color theory and color palettes aren't really like stealable. So I just kind of like see a painting or a photo or something that I like and I'll just kind of make a color palette based off of the vibes that I get from that. And then I'll use that in a painting. Um, but you kind of have to like, there's more to color theory than just like how colors work together. So like, I also have to think about shading is really still something I have to think about a lot. Like you can see, I was like shading these backwards for a while. Um, and then the other thing about it is also like ambient light kind of, which is what I Googled before this. So like the other parts of color theory include, hang on, let me move these birds like the further something away is the less saturated it should be and um like if there's warm light hitting it then it has to be a cool shadow i think and then if it's hitting, i might be doing that backwards um but like i try to follow the rules um after i pick a palette so that they all kind of end up working together so like this yellow here is a much more pale yellow than like these yellow because I'm purposely trying to show the receding distance. Um, but I kind of just mean it. Also, I don't like all the trees in the back. They're not giving me the vibes I want. I think this tree needs to be bigger. And then this tree needs to be like way more sparse. Um, okay, it was just caught in Streamlabs. Streamlabs, chill out, bro. <laughs> but that's what I do. I just follow the rules. It, it's really helpful. Like, I wanted to paint with color, like, immediately. Like, color is what draws me to stuff. So I don't really like... Like, they give you advice that you should work with black and white first. And it's good advice. You should. However, I didn't but it's because it made art not fun for me and there's no point in doing something if it's going to make art not fun so i just kind of had to struggle and it made it really hard for me because it took me a really long time to make pieces that i like didn't not that i didn't hate but like you can tell something was wrong with them and like learning color theory and painting in black and white first for me would have been actually really helpful what did Streamlabs do? Oh, Streamlabs just kept talking. I thought that chat like blew up, but it was just Streamlabs. <laughs> um, there's also other rules that you can follow. Like I think there's like a 70, 2010 rule or something along those percentages where like, a lot of your painting can be one color and then you use the other complementary colors less so that the balance of your painting is there. But that's more, I think, composition almost. The only valid way is how you do it. There's no right way, you just do what you feel comfortable with. Yes, totally agree, Kyan. Um, totally agree. Um, sorry, I'm thinking about this house. Okay. <laughs> That's just kind of what I do. I really like having color palettes because, like I told you guys, I really like colors. So they help me, like, get started. So, like, when I started this painting, I just kind of put colors down. I was like, these are cool colors. Like, I didn't have any plans. I was just like, I like these colors. That is inspiring to me. And then I just sort of like was like, okay, now you have to make something. <laughs> and even like right here, I already kind of knew what I wanted to paint. Um, and that, that is like, this is pretty much close to where we started. Yeah. And then I, this is just me rendering everything and trying to clean it up. And I moved that building, and added the poles, and that pole is crooked. So. <laughs> Um, let me quick fix that. This pole is definitely leaning to the left, to the left. 
everything I own in a box to the left. I think that's straight now. Yeah, it's pretty close. I should really move these behind the houses, but I don't want to. Um, I missed the tick birth. <laughs> this is what you miss. This is how thick they were. You like the tonky bird. <laughs> uh, time lapse is so cool. Thanks. I love Procreate because you get to use time lapses. I feel like it's just like such a great feature. Campaign ready and hydrate. Thank you. Warhammer has tea and custard creams. That sounds so good. Um. Unforge, I think I'm gonna end stream here <laughs> because my voice hurts a lot and I think I've overextended myself. Um, so I'm going to end stream before I like lose the ability to talk again. Um, <laughs> thankfully I don't have to talk a lot at work anymore so we'll be good there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Um, if I'm able to and my voice is fine, there might be a surprise stream on Friday because I don't have to work Friday. So, you don't know what will be up. Maybe we'll do, an if I do stream, maybe we'll do Animal Crossing or Arceus and then whenever I don't stream on Friday, I'll stream Saturday. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the vibes. Um, so thanks guys for hanging out with me. Um, yes, have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thanks so much. Um, I'll probably work on this at some point. Don't know if it'll be done by next week, but we are far enough along. We probably won't work on it next week. Plus, I have so many other whips. So, anyways, thank you guys. Thanks, Cotton and Pan Pan and Soul Thief uh, and Warhammer. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay relaxed. Stay healthy. Actually, I'm remembering now. Um, Hang on. Let me just quick open. Maybe we can raid somebody really quick because I usually raid on Sundays. Um, I have three peeps who are live. Let's raid the same person that we uh, raided last week, um, Andro Android Corn. Um, I they've been doing um, Animal Crossing, so I think we can just quick raid them. I think that that should give you a raid command. <laughs> you can do that, but you can also do any uh, emotes that you want. Uh, but I'm just gonna quick set this up and really quick. Don't feel like you have to stay or anything. I just think it would be fun to do quickly. Uh, but thanks you guys again. And I'll see you next week. Bye.